Hello and thank you for joining me for your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 14th of December for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you've yet to do so, please order your year 2021 personal horoscope forecast and character analysis special offer. You'll get the rest of uh, this year for free, 30% off. It's based on your time, date and place of birth, totally unique to you. Ascend above your zodiac sign and discover what the upcoming year holds for you in fine detail. Hello Pisces and welcome to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 14th of December. This week sees some big changes but it also sees some big opportunities. Your chance to really seize uh, the moments when it comes to your goals, ambitions and desire to receive greater recognition and acknowledgement. But it's not just going to be around this week that this occurs. Over the next six months, you can showcase your talents magically, positively. But it is true that Saturn and Jupiter are moving into quite a tender area. And weirdly, because there is a bit of a paradox here, the more that you can learn about your deepest desires, motivations and attitudes, the more successful you can become. But if you try to reach for those golden prizes without being in tune with the side of yourself that's maybe in some ways wounded, hurt from the past, not entirely evolved, not completely at peace with itself, then that's when in some ways you can be blocked or feel a sense of inhibition. So the opportunity to get deeper in touch with what really makes us tick is something that a lot of Pisces have quite naturally because uh, Neptune, the planet of dreams, which is your co-ruler, is very much about your sensitivity. Jupiter, your other co-ruler, is very much about knowledge. So your ability to keep evolving and growing is actually profoundly strong. But that's boosted massively over the next couple of years. But if there is a resistance on your part, to embracing the more tender side of your nature, sharing how you feel at a very deep level, n knowing that you can be vulnerable in a safe way, that's the areas that you're going to be working on quite actively with the support of Jupiter and also with Saturn. But just to say, Jupiter is also, of course, your co-ruler, as I said before, and it is going to be moving into your sign in the middle of May through till the end of July. This is almost like a bonus ball moment, if you like, in a lottery, because ordinarily Jupiter stays in one sign for the whole of one 12 month period. So generally it repeats its cycle every 12 years. But this year its elliptic is uh, more unusual. So you have this period of time when it's in your sign from the middle of May to the end of July. It is in retrograde for a lot of that time. Then it comes back into your sign at the end of December. So you have the opportunity to get more aware of those deeper drives and then you can start manifesting those more individual hopes in that wonderful spring period. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you so much for joining me. Do stay safe, take care and goodbye for now.